In this video, I'm going to share some AI tools that I use for content creation. As well as sharing the tools, I will go over how I use certain ones. Remember that AI tools should be used to supplement your own creativity, not replace it. I'll break these tools down into four categories. Tools for the editing process, thumbnail enhancers, image generators, and productivity tools. I will have every single one of these tools mentioned and many more in the description below. Editing tools. Number one, CapCut. CapCut is a super easy to use video editing software perfect for making really short videos for TikTok and YouTube shorts. You can use it on your phone or download the desktop version. Some of my biggest shorts with millions of views were made in mere minutes using CapCut. Number two, Green Screen Remover. A really cool tool that removes green screen backgrounds from videos. Number three, Adobe Speech Enhancer. If you live in a noisy environment or have a mic that doesn't give the best sound, you can still record voiceovers and put them through the Adobe Speech Enhancer. This will remove background noise and make your voiceover much clearer and sharper. Number four, long to short form video converter. If you don't want to manually cut up your long form videos to shorts, you could do it automatically with this tool. Number five, AI speech software. I don't recommend using an AI voiceover, but if it's the only option you have, the best one is made by 11apps.io. Thumbnail enhancers. Image enlarger. Have you ever found the perfect image for your thumbnail, but it's too small, and if you enlarge it, it becomes too pixelated and grainy? This AI image enlarger will blow up small images and use AI to still keep it crystal clear. Magic eraser. This tool is amazing. Have you ever found the perfect thumbnail picture, but it had text on it or an object you wish wasn't in the picture? With this tool, simply cover the unwanted part of the image and it will make it disappear like magic. Number eight, background remover. A simple tool that will remove the background from an image, leaving only the main subject. Number nine, image cleanup. This will remove any unwanted object, defect, people, or text from your picture in seconds similar to the magic eraser tool. Image prompt generators. Number 10, Midjourney. Midjourney creates images based on simple prompts and it works through Discord. This tool is super useful for creating really nice thumbnails, but most people use them wrong. They work best when made to create a background for your thumbnail. You still should have to create the rest yourself. For example, this is one of my latest thumbnails. The background is made with Midjourney. Here's a pro tip adding dash dash ar space 16 colon 9 to the end of your image prompt make the generated images the same size as a YouTube thumbnail. Productivity tools. Number 11, ChatGPT. I use ChatGPT for a lot of things, but I never use it to solely write my script. It's very obvious when a script is made with ChatGPT and it comes across as robotic and boring but ChatGPT can be useful in producing script ideas and skeletons. You still have to do the heavy work of adding a human voice to it and making it flow naturally. For example, if you're out of video ideas, you can prompt the following. Hey, ChatGPT, give me some YouTube video ideas based on these last five videos. Then you write your last five video titles. Number 12, Browse.ai. This is a bit more advanced, but you can customize an AI robot using Browse.ai to scrape data for you. This is useful, for example, if you're running a channel based on data that is updated frequently. Number 13, Canva. Canva is an image editing software, but it's so productive and has so many features that I also consider it amazing for my productivity. It has built-in enhancers, a background remover, and an amazing amount of stock designs. I highly recommend the pro version if you're taking YouTube seriously. And number 14, character.ai, a really cool website that has AI assistance that you can have help you out, whether it's for help programming or just creative idea generation. Remember, all of these tools are just that, tools that supplement your own creativity I've listed all of these plus many more below in the description and remember to subscribe for much more videos.